Hello guys and welcome to yet another tutorial. This time I will do the future frame freeze as I like to call it. As you see in the background right here, uh, there's a gymnast doing a handstand on the vault. Uh, what I would like to see is that this image is right on top of the video. What it means that uh, she will be standing in handstand and the video will come behind it, reaching that image and take it with it. You can do it as this with one image, but you can also do this with multiple images, what I will show you right here. One thing that is very important is that the video is as stable as it possibly can. Uh, I just filmed this on a tripod without touching it. Uh, that's the best way, as you can see in the video right here. Once you have pasted your video into the timeline, uh, you just want to search for the frame that you want to be as an image. Um, the frame I will be using here is at my video at 3.31, as you saw right there. I'm searching it up back again. 3.31, as it says right there. What you want to do is click this little share button right here in the corner. Uh, share, save current frame, and make sure that it is on PNG. Yes, otherwise this project won't work. I will save this image as 3-31 because that will match the frame inside of the video. It becomes very useful, but you will see that later on. I will save this image and then I want to continue the video making a second image uh, somewhere right here. As you can see it says 3-5-4. Again, share button, save current frame and save it as PNG. 3-54 save and for the last one I will do it somewhere right there again 414 share save current frame PNG image 4-14 and save it as you can see right here Final Cut Pro just shared all my current frames and what we want to do next is, you can see right in the documents, there are three images. I will drag them into Final Cut Pro 10. What I want to do next is, uh, as you can see, the 331 is actually the first image inside of my video. The first image is going to be on top. Uh, 354 is the second image, so I will drag that underneath the 331. 414 is going to be the third image, so it's going to duck underneath that one. What I want to do next is uh, adjust the length of the video to be it as the same as the uh, numbers right here. As you can see, I made this frame on 331. I will adjust this image to, it says 331. 354, the same thing. I want to make it as 35. Oh, zoom in a little bit. 354 no. three, and then the last one is 414 so I will drag this out to it says 414 as you can see uh, when I play this video it only shows the images and not the video so you have some still frames and then a little bit of video still frame again and what I want to do next is go to the effects browser and type in mask and what you want to do is put the effect draw mask on all the images. Then you want to go to the first image. We'll just scale this a little bit up so we can see the gymnast way better. Maybe not too much. Let's make it 150 then. As you can see, it's going to be draw mask. Okay. So I've selected this first frame and I've zoomed in a little bit so the gymnast is a little bit clearer. What you want to do now is draw a mask completely around the gymnast. Uh, the more dots you make, the more clicks, the more perfect it will come out. Basically, it's just what you do as a kid drawing lines about something.
I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, and there we are. So we just cut out the gymnast. So once we finish the first image, we're gonna continue to the second image. We're gonna select the second image, zoom in a little bit so you can see the gymnast or whatever you're gonna cut out way clearer and start the whole process again. The last image I did a little bit rough. Uh, what I want to do next is I'm going to invert the mask and as you can see right on the edges uh, there is a little bit of a body left. What I want to do is drag the lines a little bit out, make another point by double clicking it and drag that one out as well and keep doing this so you don't see her body outside the mask anymore. This means that your that her body is inside the mask so it doesn't disturb the video. If we just play this video right now, you will see that the video comes by catching up with each of the individual uh, photos and, le and leave no thrill behind. And that's it. That's how you make some future frame freezing. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. See you next time.